Well, hey guys, welcome to Bonding Soul. Okay, so quick little review on the shape charge coming at you. All right, guys, so far shape charge. Now, um, last year, this past year, and actually the year before that too, I've been kind of running a, a door gunner, which I love the door gunner. Uh, there's a couple things I'd love to change on the door gunner. Um, but we'll get into that later. If you want to watch that, actually watch that video. It's, I'll, I'll probably link it in here somewhere um, on the door gunner review. But I wanted something bigger. I wanted something where um, if I need to go in deep somewhere and I need to be, if, if I do shoot something, which is very rare. I mean, come on, you guys know me. I don't really shoot a lot of stuff, but I need to be able to pack it out. <clears throat> And I need uh, the capacity for uh, like like saddle stuff, or if I want to strap a, um, uh, a tree stand and sticks and stuff like that to the outside, haul it in, and then be able to get like meat out. Now in Minnesota here, for you, for you say in private land, you can debone and and pack out meat. On public land, you can still do that after you tag the animal and register it, but you need to go back and get everything out. But making one trip and go back and getting another trip, whatever. It's still doable. Now, if you're going to get stuff out of there, you're going to want to, you know, uh, some of the places I go, I mean, they're legit like one or two miles in and you're not going to drag anything out of there. You're not going to, you know, pull it with a sled or stuff like that. It's a long way to go, especially if it's not, um, you know, snowing and things like that. We can drag a sled. I'm not going to get a game card in these areas. It's just not happening. I need to be able to pack it out. So, um, shape charge it is. Now I used to have that Kuyu, um, 1850, the Icon Pro. Love that pack, but the, finally after five or six years, the uh, the zippers busted out on it. Then I went to the Venture, the Venture 2300 I got, and it's not as thick a material as the 1850 was. The zippers seemed a lot chintzier. Nothing that actually broke on it, but I didn't want to trust it. Um, I wanted to do something A, beefier, and B, American-made. Of course, you know, enter Kafaru. Now, I'm going to say, Kafaru, I love Kafaru stuff. I love how beefy they are. I love how heavy-duty are, they are, but... They're still not like my 100% like as far as like organization wise. Um, they, it still misses out on a few things and it misses out on a few things with some tiny little details, but we'll get to those in a little bit. Um, of course, um, I wanted something that's, that's not gigantic, but something that's gonna be able to carry the stuff I need to carry. This is about 2000 uh, cubic inch, I believe, or 1950 or whatever they list it as. I got a little pouch on here too, you know, on, on the front, um, you know, which adds a little bit of extra organization. And, uh, you know, other than that, I mean, this is a, it's a pretty sweet pack. You've probably seen videos on this before. You got compression straps on the outside. You got compression straps actually that kind of go in through here too, that go through this, here, I'll tip you down a little bit if I can, that actually go through the pockets, right? So that you can actually cinch something down without compressing, you know, like you've got a bottle in here or something like that, uh, you're not going to crush it. So that's really handy. And, and if, But if you want to, you can take it out and just strap, strap it on. So I needed something that actually was able to strap sticks or like loose clothing or a stand or whatever. And, you know, you can do that. You can definitely do that with these compression straps, right? They got plenty of length to them. I got them kind of rolled up here. So you got, like I said, you got one over here and you got one across this way. I'm not going to dig it out right now. Um, but another thing you could also do is you can change out the male and female buckles because you know they, they're on, you know they kind of have a little split in them. I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't. Um, and you can you can move these around, right? So this one is a male and it clicks into the female over here. This one is the female clicks into the male over here. But if you needed to, you can go all the way and do this, right? So you can have this option if you're gonna strap something to the side, right? And then cinch that down or you can have this option and click all these together to put something in here which is what i'm going to do with my tree stand when i'm carrying a tree stand or sticks obviously no matter what i no matter what i'm carrying um pocket wise stick boys by the way nice hat um they got these stash pockets over here they're pretty wide now uh, a couple issues I have with uh, with these stash pockets or with the, with the bungee type stuff, um, uh, enclosure type, opening type stuff on, on Kefaro packs. And I don't know why this is. And Aaron, if you're listening, um, you know, I, I what I would love for you guys to do, I would love for you guys to do is this, the springy right here, the elastic band, it doesn't really like suck in tight, right? I mean, yeah, you can put a lot of big stuff in here, 
but if I'm putting like a smaller bottle, I'm afraid it's gonna fall out. It doesn't really like cinch it tight. Like I don't know why I can't have some sort of like shock cord uh, closure or this this um, this elastic be more elasticy and actually like close this up a little, a little bit tighter or something like that. Um, if you're putting in a giant Nalgene bottle, we don't all carry Nalgene bottles. It's it, it's fine, but uh, if you're gonna do something smaller in here, um, you know I, I do put my arm guard and things like that on 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 this side. Uh, face mask actually goes in. It's in my it's in my door gunner actually. Uh, that goes in. That stuff's not gonna fall out because it's it's light. It's fabric. It's got you know grip or whatever. Um, but if you were to put like a smaller water bottle in here, I don't really trust it to not fall out. Um, now, the only hunting trip that I've gone on with this so far is actually I went down to Florida. I flew down to Florida, but I flew with this. I took everything in here. Um, and uh, it was great traveling with this. It was all my clothes. I actually shipped my broadheads and, 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 and sharps type stuff uh, down there. And uh, when I met up with Jim Desias, we went, we went uh, hog hunting. We didn't, we didn't get to shoot anything, but um, uh, some, uh, some varmints and against stuff, but um, nothing big, didn't have to pack anything out. But uh, it, was, it was a pleasure to travel with, very, very comfortable. It's got, um, it's got really nice straps, uh, you know, fully, fully adjustable. One thing that's kind of annoying is like this little part of the strap here. Like I wish this was just like sewn in, right? Instead of being able to, cause this is so you can like extend the strap down. Um, but I don't know how many people actually need it. Maybe some people do, I don't know, but I, I, I don't. I just wish it was kind of just, just stitched right to there and not, not have this kind of flap that, you know, can kind of do one of these, right? Um, internally, you've got a zipper pocket on the front with a key ring, right? Great. And you've got a top pocket over here, which is pretty deep, you know, very big. And you've got three side po little stash pockets, or organizer pockets. Um, you know, this, I got like a little compass in here. Now, here's my problem with the, the, the elastic key stuff again. This is also some with that elastic, you know, but it doesn't really stretch, right? I, because it's an organizer, if you put something in there, I expect it to kind of not fall out of there, right? But if I have like a headlamp in here, let's say, right? And I put that in, and it's not very stretchy on top, right? So I put that in, and then let's say I open up the main compartment, and I flop the main compartment down, and I'm doing one of these, and I know I'm kind of exaggerating it, but you know, when you're moving around and you're trying to get stuff out of here, right? Um, and then you zip it back up again. And next time I go into this compartment, right? Well, okay, of course it didn't do it, but this usually ends up in here, okay? Um, I would like this to, or if anything smaller definitely, will definitely kind of flop out and end up in the main one. Now, it's an organizer for a reason, so if it's an organizer, it would be nice if this was even like zippered or, um, you know, just, just something more elasticy, right? Kind of the same issue I had with the door gunner when I was saying about the inside of the, um, uh, inside of the water box, water bladder pocket on the inside, the top, the, the opening of that sleeve was kind of too open and the mouth would like, when you're trying to shove stuff inside, would like, would catch in there, right? Instead of being like sucked up tight to the back side of the inside of the uh, a bag, um, you know, that's, that's kind of a little bit, of, a little annoying. Um, I don't know why they just can't make that nice elastic, nice and taut, you know, and, and just be done with it. Um, you got this, I think you call it a chamber pocket in here, right? Kind of hanging in there. You've got some webbing in here where you can, they have like different sheets and stuff and different, uh, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know what you can hang in here. I think they got things for holsters and, and, and organizers or whatever, but I, I don't use any of that stuff. Pretty cavernous, right? It's a, it's a big, it's a, it's a horseshoe zipper, obviously. So a lot of room in here. Um, right now I don't have a lot of stuff, just like my saddle stuff and, and a couple of things, but like it's pretty cavernous. And then in here you've got, obviously, put that down a little bit. You've got a, a pocket right in here, right? The zippered pocket right in here. And then you got two uh, compartments. Actually, it's one compartment with a zipper in here, right? So lots of organization. You can do, you can do a lot with this. And... It's super care. It's super comfortable to carry. It does have the option of of having the, uh, the Omni belt over here, right? Uh, the belt goes in through here, obviously, right? And then uh, you can, you know, carry some heavier loads. I'm probably going to do that when I, if I'm carrying my, uh, um, uh, what do you call it? If I'm carrying my tree stand or something like that. Uh, otherwise, I don't really like having it on. You know, it, it's kind of it's kind of wide. You know what I mean? And it, I, I don't need it unless I need it. It's, it. This carries just fine. I didn't carry it on my trip to Florida. Um, you know, again, I didn't walk miles and miles with it or anything like that, but I just, I just didn't, you know, end up needing it. So, um, those are the only kind of like little nitpicky things I have with it. It was just the, the, the elastic -y 
the elastic closures they kind of feel like you, know, you ever have those like old pair of underwear where the elastic is like technically still elastic but it doesn't really do much well it kind of feels like that like it it needs like i just wish you, these would like suck in closer and the inside compartment you know organizer openings would suck in closer but other than that this thing is built like a tank oops <laughs> that did not come off <laughs> all right we're gonna put that back on well, just to show you, that only came off because I was half taking it off to, when I was trying to show you how you can you can move these around over here. Of course, it happened to be right at the time when I say it's built like a tank. But this basically just flips, uh, clips in here. It goes in to the Molly webbing, right? And you can move these around like that. Okay, so that was a perfect demonstration. It just happened to work out at an inopportune time. So, um, yeah, super nice. I can't wait to actually carry... You know hopefully some dead critters in here uh another another thing like i said you can you can you can attach um a lot of stuff you can attach a lot of stuff but um on, on the front only so much fits like i think this is the small pal I, I can't remember what they call it, small organizer or something like that and here's where i, I kind of carry like my milkweed and things like that easy access stuff for the outside um on the door gunner on the front i have a small belt pouch a small belt pouch will not fit because it's too wide for for here right so another kind of like a little kind of nitpicky thing is this 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 webbing is great on the outside but if you notice this belt pouch is, is off not belt pouch uh the organizer pouch is offset just a little bit that's because the um the webbing isn't like centered you know what i mean like this isn't centered on the webbing so if i were to try and like move it's, it's either off to one side or the other side just the way the webbing is laid out and the way these will attach it's not like dead 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 straight not a you know it's it, it's not that big a sticking point but i don't know it's just one of those kind of like little tiny details that like i don't know maybe if you give them feedback they might uh you know take that into account for future for future things just kind of like li little tiny details like that i do love the fact that it's got a, a grab handle in the front and they finally put a um uh grab handle on the back over here okay because uh you know for the longest time people were like well it's a, if it's a tree stand pack how, how can you not have a handle back here how, how is that even possible well they finally did that um super again it's everything's super beefy super tough i don't i don't have any problems like pulling this i i loaded this thing to the gills you know when i when i when i traveled with it um and you know i'm i have no fears that any you know um strap or buckle or zipper or anything like that is going to break it just feels quality um and i'm not just trying to tout the, I'm, I'm proud that it's american made and i'm not just trying to tout the raw raw american made thing although it's fine to do um but the kuyu thing uh it did the, the venture 2300 it just felt chintzy it felt chintzier if it, it's it's a whole lot less expensive but it just felt chintzy and um although nothing broke on it nothing ripped on it I just couldn't trust it, especially with the zipper thing, you know, um, from from before. So they, it, it felt like uh, quality went down. Not that they were like the super super highest quality anyway, but it felt like quality went down on the Kuyu stuff. Like you'd open it up and they'd have like strands, like on the inside of here, like the like the zipper, um, you know, where it was sewn in. You know, it's not like this, right? It had like just random like uh strands of thread and stuff everywhere they're just looking to unravel but i mean it was everywhere right i mean whoever they're having them sold them in china or wherever they get them made it's the, the quality's gone down so anyway i'm not here to just solely bash kuyu i know that they make like some decent stuff but um and it served me well the the first uh, the icon pro did but i'm really looking forward to, to carrying this thing it's just big enough i think to carry all the stuff that i need because i pack like a girl it's got enough stuff uh on the outside uh, to be able to strap stuff to and uh, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be fantastic for uh, this coming, this coming season. So I haven't been using it for turkey season so far. I've only been out a few times anyway. I'm using the door gunner, um, but this one is definitely going to be, this is going to be the ticket for uh, whitetail season. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. So anyway, yeah, sorry, not a super, super in-depth one. I wish I could show you. I've got like, you know, all kinds of, you know, dead, dead meat and game bags and stuff in here. Maybe this, uh, this coming year, but I, you know, if that happens, I don't think it's going to be a problem. There's all kinds of stuff, places to strap things, um, whether, you know, inside of here, uh, you can carry it. Obviously you can strap stuff to the outside. Um, I've got another set of compression straps actually that can strap stuff to the, to the, um, uh, bottom here. So yeah, super, super nice. Very nice. Looking forward to it. Uh, proud to support, you know, Kafaru and, and, and American uh, American company and, um, and and all they do. So there you go. There you have it. Uh, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And then let me know your comments. All right. Thanks for watching.